Hey everybody! Welcome to Stumped. This is Ash, joined by Price. Hello! And we are playing Viva Pinata! Woo! This is a game made by Rare. It's it's actually, it's gotta be one of my favorite Rare games ever made. It's uh, so good. It is, and I mean, from the from the start of it, you might think that this looks overly kitty and simplistic, um, but this game has a dramatic amount of strategy and depth to it. Oh yeah, it's a fantastic, like, I don't know, like, a, I mean, a garden simulator, I guess, but the thing is, it's so in-depth what you have to do in order to unlock things. It's it's wonderful. I love it. Is. It is. Yeah. And there's, there's little piñatas, and it, it's going to be cute. And we are going to try to build our own garden and get all the way to one of the more advanced piñatas. I was thinking Chunicorn, or okay. there's also... The, well, let's 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 watch this little intro here. Let's see what they have to say. Because this is a world where you get to call the shots. Oh, we're the calling the shots. The creatures and plant life that inhabit this land are all determined by you. From the minute you dig your first hole and plant your first seeds, you're well on your way to attracting so your first pinata visitor. I want our our if garden to look like, like this, like with little like with fences, little fences and, and stone awesome. pathways and stuff. Yeah, it's hard because you need to arrange the houses and things. To allow room for that. You choose which to collect and which to trade. Life on Pinata Island is never all daisies and apple trees. When illness or danger threatens, uh, you'll need to be. You know, I don't think I've ever had a lamb one. Lamb one. <laughs> gotta, gotta make it happen. This gotta get them all. All right. World to explore. This isn't Pokemon. Oh come on. <laughs> whatever you want. So feel free to change anything. But then again, we can never play Pokemon on this channel, so this can be as close. This is our Pokemon. <laughs> Catch them all. Full of oh, opportunities and unforgettable characters. Oh, Viva Pinata. So good. Oh, cows. Oh, it's like the beginning of Skyrim going down the path, only, <laughs> 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 only pretty. <laughs> The graphics in this game weren't really great for a 2007 game. Yeah, this is originally on uh, 360, right? It was. Um, and obviously we're playing the PC version here. Um, I suppose it's important to touch on that too. One of the things that drew me to talking to, to playing this game is that you won't be able to really play this game in after, after July. Um, you'll be able to play it, but you won't be able to save because Games for Windows Live is going away. And once that goes away, no one can save games that use Game for Windows Live anymore. It looks like Leafos is very sad about that. She is. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. I was hoping someone would come and help me tidy up this mess. You must be the new owner. I'm Leafos, and I'm here to help you. All right, Leafos. Yeah, all right. We'll help. Yeah, we don't, we don't need to listen to everything she has to say. <laughs> The beginning of this game is a very uh, I'll admit. I mean, long tutorial. <laughs> it's true. I've given you the journal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got a journal. We don't even have the shovel yet. All right. To... Yeah. That's right. You got to go through all this stuff. So while you're getting through this until you get the shovel. So the goal that we have is go. to try and get some of the highest level this pinatas, which one of them is the chunicorn. One is a very difficult thing to get. It is. And then the other one, that is like the, I, I would say probably the ultimate pinata, right? Is the, uh, the dragon ash. Yeah, the dragon ash. Which, like, you, you have to go through this huge, crazy process to try and get it. And then, depending, like, you get an egg. And then depending on where that egg is, you get a different variant of the dragon ash. Right. And you only get one. And so you have to plan ahead as to, like, which one you're going to want to get. alert. Whenever something important is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, alerts. Hmm. So that's our Are ultimate goal, is to get Press to that point. Get one of those Alert super high level pinatas. That is, that's going to be the it's goal. We're going to get a... Um, well, well, we'll do some planning from the very beginning, because it's important if you want the Dragon Ash from the very start that you need to plan for that. Indeed. God. Look at that shovel. That's shovel. That is so classy. Okay. Grab your shovel from yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So... For those watching, this might seem painful because it is such a crazy <laughs> kitty style tutorial. Trust me, hang in here because this game has a huge amount of depth to it. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, I'm super into, you know, resource management type games, Sims. Okay. Uh, and so... Viva Pinata is a perfect example of like how to simplify and like get down to the essence of what those games are like, but still maintain the strategy necessary for it. 
So do we want to leave some cracked earth in the center? Well, I mean, I guess that's a that's a big question. Is that what we're going to go for? Are we going to go for hey, the... Uh... Let, let's do it. All right, we're going to go all out. So one of the, probably the, the most difficult dragon ash variant to get, you leave the um, egg on the cracked soil. Yeah. And the thing is, is like the cracked earth, it doesn't... Um, once it's gone, you can't bring it back. Exactly. And so if you want that dragon ash, you have to specifically leave a patch of cracked soil around. Oh! Oh! And this is something we're going to be seeing a lot. We're going to have our first visitor here. Every time you attract a new pinata to your garden, you get one of these little videos. You do. You get a video for every time you get a new pinata. Well um, a worm! Worms are great. They're like the participation badge. They are. <laughs> they just show up for being here. Oh, come on. Yeah, you want to automate that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if we want to do the the hard soil thing, we could. We don't necessarily have to leave a patch now because we're, we will oh, eventually extend our garden. That's so we true. Could. We don't have to do a patch right away. Yeah. So as you guys can see, there's like a little white border there. Um, the garden starts out pretty small, and then as you level up as a gardener, um, it can grow in size. So I think we might want to, you know, keep our options open for now and maximize our use of our land, and then uh, good point. Just in the future, we can keep one of those spaces. And I, I believe it. Ex it ex I know it extends all the way to like the houses and those borders and stuff, but um, I think it's like three times it extends. Yeah, it's, it, it's at least twice. Yeah. There's at least three different sizes of garden. Um, not positive how many times it happens. But for now, let's uh, make this garden nice and pretty by getting rid of all the garbage. Yep, and as you saw, we got that worm like right away when we started clearing this away. There's different, different visiting and residency requirements for every pinata, and obviously the worm likes to have dirt. Yep. So just having dirt gets that uh, worm wanting to show up. Oh, hey! Grass packet. Now we can put grass on our dirt. All right, so oh, there's a little little patch there that is there. All right, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's, we'll, we'll make it pretty for we'll you, Okay, we'll thank make, we'll, you, thank we'll you. It. I'm a little neurotic, so it's it's yeah. nice to have everything in order. There we go. Any more? I think we're good. Okay. I think. Don't worry, I'll point it out. <laughs> um, so we'll put that away. We'll get the. I don't even want to hear this. <laughs> we'll get the grass packet. There we go. And right. as we start pouring this, expand. There we go. Start pouring. Yeah. There we go. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, you can go super speed. That's you can. Nice. And now he's happy. And look. So he to visit, he needed dirt. To become a resident, he needed some real grass. All right, and look at him. Look. Now he's got color. He's got color. It's like Pleasantville, kind of. <laughs> it is. Oh, now we've attracted a serpent. A serpent, which I think his only requirement for visiting was maybe someone else living in our... It might be. Might yeah. Be. I'm going to look it up. I'm Ash's encyclopedia pinata. Yeah, I, to really play this game, you need to always have a wiki open um, because there's so much you need to look at. If you want to maximize everything. So yeah, he just needs grass is what he needs. Oh. He's but really... then to become a resident, he needs to eat a mouse mellow. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, mouse so, mellow. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see if we have anybody getting yeah. eaten. That's that's another thing. This this game, you really need to not be attached to a lot of your creatures. <laughs> you gotta be really willing to let them die. Yeah, it's pretty... Um, yeah, you can see there's a little patch there that needs to be uh, done. With. Or you can leave it. It's fine, Ash. Don't we'll, worry about we'll, it. We'll, leave you, we'll just leave it there for your OCD to <laughs> just, just go just crazy. Just to bother me. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, yeah, we've got the one worm there, and then we've got another one who looks like is kind of visiting but hasn't quite become a resident yet, but there's a good chance that that one will become right. a resident soon, and then we'll have two worms. And having two of a pinata is certainly an important feature. Now that you have the cursor on your pinata... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here comes our first most important decision. <laughs> In fact... Fact price. I'll I'll scooch this over. Oh, okay. And let you take the reins on this. I'm I'm having to hold on to the keyboard. Uh, can you actually? There we go. Okay. Um, so we're going to do a basic information. We're gonna name our pinata. Oh boy. What should we name him? I don't know. This is gonna be our most important one. It's our first pinata. Um, about um about Winston. Winston. I like that. Okay. Winston's good. Bam. I think all the worms should have W names. So okay. That'll be how we go. Oh. A sparrow mint, eh? Sparrow mint. So let's see. And I know that they, um, I think they're attracted from having the worms. 
I, yeah. Yeah. There she says it. Oh, and now a donut. Donut. Hmm. Donut. It, if you haven't caught on yet, this game, uh, <laughs> this game names all of its animals after candy and and foods lots, and stuff. Lots of puns. Yeah. Lots of puns. Yeah. So they they like to have oh, lots of grass. A donut has come to look at and, all of that lovely grass you've grown. Uh, we need a lot of a lot of berries and things if we want to keep them gotcha. in the garden. So that that'll be a little while. Okay. So we've got him. We've got Winston. We're waiting for this other one to become yeah. our friend. Oh, there we oh, go. There we go. Bam. Hooray! So, one, number two. Right. Info. All right, I got one. Wanda. Boom. There nice. We go. Winston and Wanda. Winston and Wanda. Love it. All right. All right. And so, can we build a house for them yet? No. Well, well, she'll probably say something here in okay. a second. I bet. She better. Hey, there we go. Willie the Builder. All right. So Willie is a very valuable member of the weird masked people team. He can uh, build us houses for our pinatas. There we go. Um, so we're gonna build the worm house, yeah. Where's the front door? There it is. Okay. There's the front door. Where do so you want this one? where is the town path? It is. Uh, it is there. Okay. So maybe have the front door facing the town. Okay. And have it sort of tucked into the corner over All right. there. And it's important for us to remember that, like, you know, eventually we might want to get rid of the Worm House so we don't have to... It's, it's a semi-permanent installation. It'll be here for a while, but it's not yeah. set in stone. It's you true. You can always knock it down and move it around and whatever. Because um, the animal... The piñatas actually become unhappy if they can't get enough free space to move around. Um, mm -hmm. So if you just try to cram all the houses together, they get they get kind of upset. Yeah, and if you have too many pinatas at once, then they'll start running over each other, and it, it's it's tricky. Exactly. Where's Willie? Willie. Let's see. Where's he coming from? There he oh, is. Oh, there he is, coming move, down the path. Move your ass, Willie. Um, he's slow. So, so he, he, yeah, he's gonna come, and that's our we set up the scaffolding area there. He'll go in, he'll build the house, and then we can move on to the second. Uh, most controversial and important step of this game. <laughs> <laughs> the, the mating rituals. Yeah. Um, this, is, this game's got some odd elements to it, but it's fantastic. It's wonderful. Um, but, like, I mean, we, we, we mentioned the, um, you know, the, the you don't want to build them too close to because it'll make them unhappy. There's a whole happiness element to all the pinatas as well. When we named these pinatas, that made them more happy just mm -hmm. by having their own name. Mm -hmm. um, if animals are too unhappy, then when you tell them to do something, they actually like will either have a huge delay or just not do it at all. Um, Which is not good when you're trying to get certain things done. Alright, smash it. Alright, so then... God, I love his voice. It's like a, a Jersey Brooklyn <laughs> kind of thing. Let's see it. Oh, All right, yeah. it's a big series of tubes. Worm house. You provided the worms with everything they need. Oh my. All right, so where's Winston and Wanda? Winston, bam. This worm is selected. <laughs> and Wanda. So we direct them to each other, and oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. <laughs> if you want to teach your kids about where babies come from, Viva Pinata is probably a pretty good example. <laughs> All right. And so, in every one of these, you sort of have to go through something, and there's always like a hidden chocolate coin that you can get. They're, yeah. they're chocolate coins, by the way. Oh, yes, we, of course. We didn't mention that. Um, but later on, that becomes, you, you get much less motivation to get those hidden chocolate coins because there's easier ways to make money. Yeah. But getting money is important, especially early on. And look, Ash has succeeded at uh, finishing this romance game. So now they're going to do the romance dance. The romance dance. Gotta, gotta wait for them to get home first. <laughs> oh, get to your boy. home. Oh, one of them's ready. <laughs> yeah, he is. Who's oh, that? Oh, man, who's that? Is that Winston? No, no it's it was Wanda. Wanda. She is ready for it. <laughs> oh, Wanda. <laughs> Here we go. Winston's just... <laughs> Making his way in there. Oh, no, no not quite. He's having second thoughts. <laughs> it's anxiety. <laughs> it's nerves. Yeah, it's nerves. It's fine. Oh, let's see what happens. Oh. <laughs> Rare, you were the best game developer ever. I just, I just realized they're doing the worm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, of course. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, record scratch. They have romance. Oh, and here comes Storkos. Oh. Uh, Hello. Hi. <laughs> so she appreciates the pinata's dances, and she brings eggs. So she will drop off an egg uh, for Winston and Wanda. Yep. And I, I hope you guys really enjoyed the um, the worm mini game where I collected the coins because you're gonna be seeing a lot. <laughs>